To talk in health now, drug and substance abuse remains a menace in Nigeria that requires concerned and collaborated efforts between agencies to see and end to it. In this regard, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development is collaborating with the NDLEA to provide psychosocial support to recently rehabilitated clients of drug abuse in Abuja. The intervention will also help in reintegrating them back into the society seamlessly. Boyo Thomas report. Nigeria is one of the countries with a high prevalence of drug and substance abuse. The UN Office on Drugs and Crime 2021 records shows 14.3 million drug users in Nigeria, with about 3 million of these suffering from a drug use disorder. The data also says between 2010 and 2019, the number of people using drugs increased by 22%. The growing population of youth in Nigeria makes the trend worrisome and in need of concerted efforts to end it. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development is now providing three days of psychosocial support services to recently rehabilitated victims of drug abuse. Rufai, not real name, is one of the clients. He says his family brought him to the rehabilitation center when his alcohol drinking habit spiraled beyond control. I've uh, made up my mind once I'm out of here, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to repent of all uh, you know, my, my former past, what I've been doing. He also has this advice for people still indulging in drug and substance abuse. If you are a Christian, you go to mosque and if you are a Muslim, you go to mosque. If you are a Christian, you go to church. Have some engagement and be engaged in some social activities to stay free from drugs. Stigmatization remains a major problem for people affected by high drug use. Parents and guardians are advised to show care and love. The use of psychoactive substances such as alcohol, tobacco, cannabis, heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, as well as prescription of medications, it's a tremendous tool on individuals, families, and societies. The main objective tool to combat drug abuse is strengthening prevention programs because prevention is the best approach. At the same time, we need to ensure that our treatment programs are effective to help those that are already in the circle of drug abuse. Rehabilitated clients are to be trained in different skills and enterprises as part of plans to reintegrate them. Support services such as this take the campaign against substance and drug abuse beyond just creating awareness into intervention which has a greater impact of ending this menace in Nigeria. Boya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.